In the early morning of February 6th, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Turkey and northwest Syria, causing massive amounts of damage and impacting thousands and thousands of people. Shortly thereafter, there was another quake that again reached over seven points in magnitude, just further impacting the damage and causing additional destruction to areas that were already very vulnerable. So there's a couple of categories of assistance that we've been putting in. So one is life-saving aid. So we've offered up our drone teams and we've offered up large water purification units and field hospital units. On a life-sustaining side, everything from specialty masks for rescuers to wear to emergency food kits, but most importantly, family emergency kits, which is what the volunteers are packing and producing behind me right now. So these kits have our Emirates water purification units in them. It's a ceramic filter. It's gonna be a super easy tool for people to purify water either at their home or wherever they're staying right now. There's also a solar light. We know that infrastructure is damaged. We know power is gonna be inconsistent. So this will allow a light source when they don't have access to power and provide that extra little bit of security. Um, and we're also putting in basic hygiene items, soap, toothbrushes, and toothpaste to allow people to maintain their hygiene. I have such a connection uh, with Turkey. Everyone around me knows. I'm from Iran originally, but I have a lot of friends that I go and visit them often every year. It doesn't matter where you're from, you know, the moment that you see someone just like, crying or asking for help or you see those buildings collapsing, my heart broke. So thousands of these kits are being made and they're being flown into the region and trucked up into the area and then distributed in Turkey and then some of them are being brought across into Syria where we've been supporting and doing work for about the last decade now and we know the needs are so incredibly high.